This is Guns, Knives, and Watches, and this is, of course, a video I've made a few different times, but this one's for this new channel. Now, a lot of people call this a lot of different things. They call them bobs. They call them get home bags. They call them, you know, whatever. This is my everything pack. I mean, it can do anything that I need it to do. Period. To call it one thing is an oversimplification. Now, this is a Kelty, Kelty Falcon 2750, I think, or 2850. They're saying that they changed the name, basically, a lot of people in the last video, they changed it to the, the 4000. Uh, because actually, this thing is not uh, 28 uh, 5 cubic inches. It's actually closer to 4000 and has the ability, of course, to put all of your pals stuff, molly, da 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 da, you understand the drill. One thing that I do run on every pack that has the ability to do it, of course, is a pouch over on my left hand side because I am left handed. This is a Maxpedition pouch. It is, I think, the small. Uh, it has my headlamp in it and then a pack of batteries which are CR123s in a holder, and that holder's always orange. Uh, let me get it kind of down here on camera. And this is a Surefire headlamp, uh, just because I had it, and that's what I put in there. You can use whatever headlamp was your headlamp of choice. Uh, but let's start going through it from the outside in. Uh, as I said, this is a very complicated bag. It does a lot of different things for me. And uh, hopefully, if you just needed this setup for a get-home bag, an EDC bag, uh, a bob, or any of that type stuff, then, you know, you know, we need to talk. Uh, because this is way in excess of what people would need for any of those one situations. This, for me, is everything. The actual top of this bag comes off, becomes a fanny pack, uh, which gives you the ability to roll this into an EDC use. Of course, the uh, straps are right there on the inside of it. The bag itself uh, has its own cover when you have it off of it, so it can become two bags. It has its own rain fly built into it. It's got this, it's got that. It's got, you know, a lot of different stuff. Kelty makes really good bags. Uh, and they stand behind what they make. Now, on the outside pack, outside pocket, if anyone's ever seen this, and I know a lot of my subscribers now have already seen this, um, I simply always have wipes. Why? Because that's one of the first things I always have to get to. The kids have to get to something like that. Then I've got some, some blue Scott towels that are just handy uh, when you're in a hotel, when you're somewhere, when you're out camping, or just out doing anything, they are just very handy to have. Now, you saw in, my, in another video on my previous channel that I took out my toilet paper that was out of an MRE and added two um, additional blue Scott towels just because I try and maintain the weight. Uh, this pack's going to weigh in somewhere around 24, 25 pounds uh, with water in it. Uh, it's going to come out at about 30. You know, but dry 24, 25 pounds isn't bad. Now, this is a Swiss Tool Spirit X. X as in X-ray. Now, the difference between the Swiss Tool Spirit and the Swiss Tool Spirit X is the knife on it. This has a standard pen knife blade, non-serrated, uh, and it also still has the, uh, the scissors, which are great to have on any EDC type thing. Uh, this multi-tool is my multi-tool of choice. It has all of the various features that I need in a multi-tool, uh, and it comes in at about 7 ounces. It's not as heavy as the big Leatherman's, and it's not as small as the uh, smaller ones either. So this is my, my go-to option. Of course, I've got a right in the rain. This is from Maxpedition. It was a promo, promo deal. Uh, I keep notes in it all the time. I mean, as you can see, I've got lists things to do, da 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 in it, and it just gives me the ability to, you know, have a memory. Uh, I've upgraded my pen in this one. Now, this is a Fisher 
it's not a Fisher Space Pen, but it takes the insert. This is actually the aluminum pen uh, from Countycom. Uh, why did I go with the aluminum pen? One, it was $55, or maybe it was $50 at the time, and uh, it's the lightest version. It's lighter than the titanium version uh, and uh, the steel and, and the copper and everything, but it's $55. It's a good pen. Uh, one thing that, you know, the cap will not go on it, but it makes you keep up with it, too, um, and it's well built. A little bit heavier than the Fisher Space Pen, but I like the fact that the ink in a really dirty environment uh, the end of the pen is actually covered. Um, I put my sharpener back in here. Of course, this is a, um, I always get this wrong, this is an Easy Lap diamond sharpener with an aluminum handle. Um, I went ahead and went back with this, and I've shown a few different ways on how you can sharpen with it. I hold it like a pencil, and I can sharpen small blades like that, or you can ha hold it and actually run it along long blades. Um, but, you know, my favorite pocket knife way is just like, a, like I'm holding a pencil, uh, and then you'll strike down on it. I uh, wouldn't ever recommend doing this. That's, that's not good. That's bad. <laughs> Don't do that. Run away if somebody starts doing that because they're going to cut themselves. Good luck. Okay. I've got some other things in here. And that is a compass. This is a K&R compass. Uh, why did I use this one? Uh, because it has a magnifier on it that will actually start a fire. Um, if you have char cloth and things like that or have the ability to make char cloth, uh, it has a mirror on it, which is very, very handy. And you, you saw me flash the actual camera, which can be used for spotting and da-da-da-da-da. But more importantly, you can see yourself uh, you can see you're behind in case you get something, you know, somebody shot in the butt or something. But more importantly, you sat down on something and you've got to get it out or uh, you've got to, you hit a branch or something and uh, you've got a, something in your face. That's what that, that mirror is very, very handy for and a good piece of kit. Um, but anyway, can't say anything more about that. Of course, I just put standard... Uh, 550 cord on it. I did not use the uh, the one that came with it and all that other junk. But that's just the way it works. Um, remember, if anyone ever talks to you about signaling with a mirror, mirrors are really good signalers. Uh, they're really good signaling devices. The only problem is they only work. If you're really going. You're you got to be pointing towards the sun. Uh, <laughs> you know to really use it or be able to bounce it off the sun or this that or the other. Um, they don't, unfortunately, work when you're pointing north, uh, if you're in the northern hemisphere. Uh, they, so they only work at best 180 degrees. Uh, and that's given the fact that you can actually get to a clearing to actually use it. Uh, of course, I've got my, in here, I've got three mil trash bags. These three mil trash bags are heavy. They're about six ounces a piece. Uh, I've got two of them in there. Uh, they can be used for all different kinds of things. You know, just leave it up to your imagination. I've got three different lock sacks in here of three different sizes. I've got a 12 by 12, a 6 by 9, and I think a whatever that is. You know, 4 by 8 or 4 by 7 or something like that. Just because we use these things all the time. Like I said, this isn't just a pack that's a, a bob or a get-home bag or whatever. We take this thing in the going on vacation a lot. In fact, it goes with us everywhere on vacation and we use these things. Uh, nothing in here is something we don't use. Of course, I've got my Pathfinder knife in here and I have one thing that I've really found to be great is this lock on here because I can reach in the pack and just grab it out and it not come out of the sheath. I didn't think I would use that lock very much, but I am using it all of the time. Uh, of course, I have uh, polished this one just a little bit. I don't know if I can get it to glint off there, uh, but that is just the way in which I like it. Um, the blade is more polished than the actual uh, edge of the knife, but that just makes it a little bit easier for me to clean. Of course, you've seen my modification of my fire steel um, with my uh, 
with my duct tape wrap and uh, my Hebo, uh, my hair bow, basically the install to strap it on there so that it doesn't come off. And uh, this is the standard Pathfinder actual uh, fire steel that came with it, just modified out of the handle and all that crap. Of course, I've got a Gore-Tex uh, parka, always. Uh, this is non-insulated, so I can use it year-round. Um, but that's just important to me. Of course, I've got my Catadyne water filter, uh, which used to be an MSR, but now they're Catadyne. Uh, and this is, has been, you know, I've talked about this quite a bit as far as letting, use this thing, let it dry out. Uh, take it apart, let it dry out, put it back together as per instructions. Uh, these are Aquamira uh, water treatment, part A, part B. You can use the drops, you can use the tablets. I went over that. The tablets are actually four times stronger uh, than the drops, so if you want the drops to work, uh, and sometimes, you know, just increase your dose by four. Some people taste them, some people don't. And uh, that's really all I can really say about that. Make sure you let it dry out if you use it. And then your Aquamira tablets or your Aquamira drops are that, it's totally up to you as to which one you use. I use the one that's most convenient. I got a basic shelter here. Uh, now this basic shelter is not for extreme winter conditions. This is just a basic shelter. As I said, this goes in my car. Uh, it's so that I have the ability to do something outside of the car, work on the front of the car, that type of thing, under some type of shelter. Now it's got four MSR stakes in it. Uh, these are just, uh, tr uh, they're tr uh, triangular design, aluminum, uh, reflective uh, guide, you know, ties on there, da 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 da. To go along with the actual uh, the stakes, I've got different types of cordage. Of course, these are two 50-foot uh, pieces, or no, 25-foot pieces. One's 30, one's 25. I don't know which one's which. I don't think it really matters. Pieces of 550 cord. And then I have a 50-foot piece. Uh, I have a 50-foot a 50 piece and two 25-foot pieces of 550 cord. Why? Just because I use the stuff all the time. Yeah, I would rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. As far as other cordage I have, I've got number 10 bank line. I've got it in a plastic container. Why? Because it is actually coated in tar uh, and my kit stays in the trunk of my car. So if you've ever seen asphalt get hot and start to melt, well, this is tar. Uh, so. Da, da 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 better safe than sorry, okay? Just keeps my stuff clean. I have two Adventure Medical Emergency bivvies in here. They have been put into one bag uh, just to make it better for me uh, to get to them. It's no need in carrying two bags when two will fit into one. Of course, all of my bags are these Outdoor Research um, Ripstop Sill Nylon. Uh, that's one of the things. Another modification I made to my Catadyne water thing. I got rid of that bag and put it in one of these. Uh, and it's blue look, to signify water. This is orange to signify shelter or emergency shelter. Um, so I have this weird uh, kind of thing going on, man. Uh, I've got another uh, three mil trash bag in here. Uh, that is not with the other ones. And why is that? Because we use this one all the time. You can see it's been beat up. We put our dirty clothes in it when we're out in hotels and things. And it's just a nice dirty clothes bag that actually works. Uh, because we have a lot of clothes. A three mil trash bag is, is a godsend. Um, don't have to put it with our clean clothes in our bags. Of course, this is a just a... Hydro block from Seattle Sports, uh, 10 liter dry bag. Uh, it's not probably the best one in the world, but it's it's a very thick, good, can stand up on its own. And what do I have in it? Of course, I have two uh, full size Magnet Outgo GS towels. One is uh, kind of 
Coyote Tan. The other one is actually a OD Green. Not OD, but Sage, more or less. Anyway, green and brown. They're two full-size towels. These are both large. They can be used as emergency blankets in an emergency situation. I've gone over that before on the other channel. I carry one pair of wool socks, uh, smart wool. Uh, they can be used for emergency, you know, gloves in a mittens in a extreme situation. Da 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 da. And you go, where are your gloves? Where's your other stuff? Well, let's get to it. Of course, I've got my first aid kit. I had gone over this in a bunch of different videos, but I'll, I'll kind of hit the highlights in it. I carry Oral IV just as a, an electrolyte replacement. Um, it's not the same as doing it. I, you know, don't inject it, um, but it, it's a good electrolyte replacement, and I've been out in the desert and really needed it before. Of course, I've got Benadryl, Betadine, uh, Benadryl cream, Benadryl tablets, I got chewable Benadryl. You see, we use a lot of Benadryl. Polysporin. Uh, if you're going to use carry one, carries polysporin instead of Neosporin. You don't know who you're going to actually be treating, and fewer people are allergic to polysporin than Neosporin. I've got Imodium just in case. Well, you know what that's for. Uh, I've got, uh, you know, my normal assortment in here, uh, which is Benadryl, ibuprofen, which I live on ibuprofen, and Tylenol in some circumstances. Um, I've got my first aid kit, of course, is in a 12-12 lock sack. It's 12 inch by 12 inches. I've got money in here. That's enough to actually uh, buy a tank of gas in whatever car I'm in. I've got four pads uh, that are female, you know, just pads because I have daughters. Uh, if you have daughters, I would recommend. You can use them for dressings and this, that, or the other, but we carry them for the normal use. Uh, in here, I've got, uh, of course, a thermometer. I've got some uh, duct tape. I've got uh, some moleskin. I've got band-aids. I've got uh, medical tape that's been taken off the actual uh, dispenser, and it's just a roll of uh, first aid tape right there. I've got, uh, of course, uh, bandages of different types. I've got a quick clot in here. I've got uh, an actual uh, U.S. Army pair of tweezers. I've got some safety pins. I've got a set of lock picks, uh, which I just put in here because I made a previous video and I was making fun of my kids' actual uh, hair. I had some hair pins in here that I had for the kids. But uh, it gave me the idea to actually put a set of Sear uh, Bogota uh, lock picks in here. And uh, this there or the other. Of course, I got them actually held together with a uh, spring out of a pin. These are the titanium sets. Why do I have the titanium set? Because that's just what I got. <laughs> that's just what's there. Do I think that that little bit of weight matters. No, I don't really think that little bit of weight matters, but it's just what I've got. Um, because it's probably just what they had. Now, I've also got Q-tips in a container in here, and this container I got from the container store, and this is actually made by Nalgene, and uh, the Q-tips are really good for keeping your ears, in case you have any ear problems, just keeping them dry uh, so that you don't get an ear infection in that environment. Now, to go with my uh, orange bag, I've got an orange tarp here, and this is a SOL um, Survive Outdoors Longer uh, tarp. It's, you know, very light. Of course, it's reflective on one side. Orange on the other can be used for a lot of different things. Um, I've got some food that keeps wanting to fall out. I've got a, a recycled uh, plastic Hillshire Farms. Uh, Ten, there was probably some ham in here, and I've got six uh, granola bars. Uh, why granola bars? Because we like them, we eat them, and uh, remember this pack is going to be in freezing conditions, it's going to be in extremely hot conditions, and I've got to have a very uh, a, a food that we eat, eat all the time so that I can keep changing it out because if you ever had an MRE in the middle of the desert, uh, you realize why there are Skittles in it and not M&Ms, and that they don't last all that long. 
I've got a Baco Laplander saw. Is this the best saw in the world? It's the best saw for its size. It's the best fold out saw. Uh, if you want to do a lot of heavy sawing, uh, I would recommend something else, but you're not going to get one better than a Baco Laplander in that size form factor. Of course, I've got my two quart um, aluminum pot from the Pathfinder store. Um, I've not used this one. Uh, I got one that I am using and testing and doing a lot of stuff with, and I really, really do like it. Uh, of course, they've also got the, ze the zebra pots or zebra pots, and uh, whether I like one over the other, there, it's, it's a toss up. The zebra pots, of course, are more durable, uh, and uh, this one is just a little bit lighter. It just kind of depends on what you want. I've got. Uh, an orange bandana, of course, just for whatever a bandana can be used for. I also carry a, a green a triangular bandage, and I always forget what it, this triangular bandage is called, uh, but someone will post it, of course. Uh, it's a cravat. Hey, I remembered it. I've got two titanium uh, Light My Fire uh, sporks. Why do we use these? Because they are, number one, they're titanium. Uh, which means they're not going to melt like the plastic ones, and uh, they just work. Uh, I've had a couple people melt some plastic ones. I've got my uh, fish mouth spreader, also from the Pathfinder store. I'll get into what that's used for here in a second. I've got my fire kit with two big lighters and my uh, uh, UCO match container, uh, which is a really good one. Of course, I've got it in a small lock sack. Why? Just because. Um, staying on the on the, the theme of fire, I've got my uh, mini infernos, and these things rock. By the way, if you have never used a mini inferno to start a fire, I use about a quarter of one and get a fire going, and it is just the easiest thing ever. Uh, but that's just neither here nor there. And then I've got my this ferro rod that is will I I don't know why I have this big ferro rod other than just the fact that it. It looks cool. <laughs> it's it's you can start a million fires with it, uh, but it you know it's heavy. But I don't care. It looks cool. Actually, the truth of the matter is, is people always walk off my ferro rods and stuff. And this one, I'll remember, <laughs> and I've I've had pretty good luck with remembering. I've got another one that I've been using. Uh, this is of course uh, my soap that I carry. This can be used for shampoo, hand soap, everything. It's biodegradable. It's environmentally friendly and it can be used for anything that you need soap uh, for. And when you're out in a hotel, a bunch of women, my advice to you is I would carry some extra soap and some towels because those are two things you are going to run out of. It is just the way it works. Um, I've got some uh, fat wood in here that I got from the Pathfinder store. Why? Because we don't have pine trees here. Um, so, you know, it was easier for me to pay three bucks and get this big thing of uh, fat wood, which is just resinous pine. Now, what else do we have in the pack? Let my leg go out because I'm older and uh, <laughs> my leg's starting to fall asleep. I've got a Pathfinder bottle. Why do I have a Pathfinder bottle? Because it's a very, very good stainless steel bottle, but more importantly, it's short enough where it fits under the faucet in the bathroom of most hotels, and a clean canteen will not. In some various hotels, you may be luckier than me, but I carry these for their strength and their size. The height of these being shorter and being 32 ounces, not to mention the fact that, you know, 32 ounces of the way in which uh, most water purification tablets and things like that are measured out. So 32 ounces, but more importantly for me, because I don't care how big it is, I just want the biggest form factor I can possibly get and still fit under a sink faucet in a hotel, and as many hotels as I possibly can. Now, what's the fish mouth spreader for? Everyone's all seen this probably already. Uh, it's for hanging the actual pot if you're going to use it for a pot cooking pot, uh, for boiling water, anything like that. Uh, you can hang it off there and it works. 
Now this is my single, um, my single uh, Pathfinder bottle, and I've got another Pathfinder bottle because, uh, well, when you're going out with five people, you're going to need more than just 32 ounces of water. Uh, I carry this one for the same reason, and then I've got the Pathfinder stainless steel cup, and this is the second gen cup, which means the fish mouth spreader. Uh, once you kind of stretch it back out from being compressed, because it is a spring, works uh, for hanging the pot also. It has graduations on the inside, da 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 da. The handles, of course, on the second gen cup uh, don't rattle and don't flap around, don't this, that, or the other, and uh, they work really well. Let's see what else we've got in the pack. Of course, on the top of my pack, I always have a carabiner. Why? For putting hats and things like that and just quick fastening. I use a carabiner instead of other things. This is a real climbing carabiner. Uh, it's aluminum. Uh, this is actually a, uh, a Doval. Uh, if you're in the, it's made in the United States. If you're in the, that type of world, you, you know what this is. Uh, they make in, you know, different colors, this, there, or the other. They make a black version. But it's an aluminum carabiner that actually be used for climbing. And I would always recommend this because it really carries, uh, it, it's about the same weight as a lot of other options, uh, but it, it's strong. And uh, that, that's what I need. A um, couple other things. I've got a wool watch cap. Why do I have a wool watch cap? Because I have tried every other type of watch cap and this wool one just keeps my head warmer. Uh, it's just the way it works. You know, it's, it's my process. I've got a Filson waxed cotton hat uh, that I got from Sierra Trading Post. I wish they still had them. I would buy a bunch more. Um, but unfortunately, they don't. Um, of course, I've got Filson wool gloves. Uh, these wool gloves work with these leather gloves. Now, these leather gloves have been treated multiple times with Obanoffs to make them water resistant. They are not waterproof, uh, but they are more water resistant. And of course, these Filson wool inserts will work with these Wolverine leather gloves that I got from Costco. These are larges and uh, give me a better insulation and also when the water comes through the leather, not if the water comes through the leather, uh, the wool will keep my hands warm uh, even when wet. It will retain what they say 80% of its insulating properties. I got a pair of mechanics gloves just because I love these things. They give me the dexterity that I need and enough warmth in a lot of different situations. Um, what else do I have in my pack? Quite a few things I would sit there and uh, venture to say, but I think that is all I can find right now. Now I have switched over to this pack as opposed to the pack that I normally use most of the year, uh, which is actually a Kelty uh, Map 3500. Um, I switched over to this one just simply because it's winter time, the kids coats, this, that, or the other, it gives me a little more volume. But I stay with these two packs. Of course, this pack with the pals and all the stuff on it, uh, it looks kind of tactical. Um, but as a friend told me, you know, I could be carrying a pink backpack, and unfortunately, people would pretty much get who I am and what I'm about. Uh, so, really, the pals webbing and it being a tactical assault pack really, did, you know, didn't really, <laughs> wouldn't really change things. Uh, but this is Guns, Knives, and Watches, and this is my, uh, I guess it's a beyond category pack. This pack can do a lot of different things and works in my life on a daily basis. Um, you know, one thing that if you um, are carrying lockpicks, be sure that, that you can legally carry them. Uh, and, uh, you know, keep it legal. I carry them for the reasons that I carry them for, and that's just the way it works. I've got a lot of rental property. I've got a lot of things that we put a lot of locks on, and sometimes I don't always have the key, uh, which is the whole reason I learned how to pick locks was because 
I was so irresponsible with my keys and it's so much easier sometimes for me just to pick a lock uh, than it is for me to go back to the office and get a key. But this is Guns, Knives, and Watches and uh, my Beyond Category Pack. I hope this helps you out. I'm sorry if it's a duplication, which I know that it is. I'm sorry this, that, or the other, but uh, I just wanted to put this new video up on my channel. I didn't keep any of the old videos off the old channel, uh, so we're pretty much... Uh, we're making new, new, cap, new, uh, new headway. Some old information, but uh, this is pretty much the way my pack is. I'm going to make one more pack video uh, as far as the summer pack with the Map 3500, but I'm going to wait until that season comes around. And uh, this is Guns, Knives, Watches. Have a good one.